what's up guys uh, today I wanted to make a video showing you guys uh, what software I use to make backups of my computers um, just in case I, I do this just in case anything goes wrong with my computers I can easily just put this put my backup on that uh, like re-upload re my backup onto the computer so everything's back to normal um, it's a way just to secure your files and make sure everything's good, everything's safe, um, and uh, just for peace of mind, I guess. Nothing. It's it's happened before where my computer just went down and there goes all the files that were on that computer and I couldn't do. It. It's not your computer that goes down. It's pretty much your hard drive. If anything goes wrong with your hard drive, um, then that's where all your data is. So what I use, I, I use this software. It's called Macrium Reflect, Macrium Reflect, and uh, what it does is it allows you. It has a lot of features. the f The free version, which I initially used, um, the free version allows you to just to make backups, images, backup images, and uh, that's that. Those backup images are enough to. It's enough to. Uh, it. It pretty much that's all you need if any, if anything goes wrong you can just re-upload those images onto those hard drives and you're good to go everything's fine so um, I'm gonna show you guys how how you can do this and how you get that program um, so let's get started first off I'm gonna open up Chrome and uh, let me just go we'll go to uh, download.com we could go directly to the site, but I prefer download.com uh, just because I know it's already been tested, everything's fine. And we're going to look for a Macrium Reflect. I'll, uh, I'll try and put the link for you guys on the description as well, so it'll be easier. But uh, just to show you guys, this is the one, Macrium Reflect Free. Click on that and as you can see even on download.com which is very popular for downloading stuff uh, it is the number one it is right now it's the product ranking it's number one in backup software so that's that's a pretty high rating right there uh, what you want to do after that is uh, just hit download now and uh, it'll take you to the page and you should get see it started download for me downloading for me right now um, and uh, that's the file and you can see it's taking a while to download um, I actually have downloaded this already so uh, let me go show in folder and let's see this is the one that we want right here um, reflect free. so I'm gonna stop this I'm gonna since I already have it uh, downloaded I'm just gonna cancel this and uh, Pretty much once you guys finish downloading it, this is what you're gonna have. Uh, reflect, reflect setup free. That's the one. And uh, using this, after that, uh, you just run the setup. Double click on it. Uh, the user account control window pops up. Hit yes. And uh, it's asking you if it's gonna extract. You can hit next. Yeah. And uh, you after in the welcome screen, you hit next. You can read this if you want next um, and r actually right now it, since I have this installed on my computer already it's giving me this window uh, but for you guys it'll, it'll ask you guys that um, you know where, where do you want to install it and you want to have all the default default installation uh, you pretty much you just have to hit next on everything it'll ask you if you want to register there you can say no if you want um, and then just just hit next and let it finish installing and, uh, and uh, yeah, uh, after after it's done installing, then you should have uh, this. You you should have the reflect installed on your computer. So it makes an icon on your home on your desktop as well. But uh, if you want, you can go to your start menu, look for Mac, not Mac, reflect, and you'll see reflect is there also. Uh, so yeah, you just double click that it'll give you the user account control window again hit yes and what it does is it starts analyzing your computer to look at what hard drives you have uh, connected 
and you know all the details related to it so depending on how many hard drives you have it could take a while for me I have <laughs> quite a bit as you can see I have quite a bit here so that's why it's analyzing everything and uh, oh, it's just giving me a notice uh, important you have not yet created rescue media to enable recovery of your PC do you want to create rescue media now actually I would if when this pops up uh, or even if it doesn't pop up uh, I would really recommend that you guys uh, make this res rescue media disk right away what it is is it's just pretty much a few files it'll you you can burn it onto your onto a CD or a DVD or I think even a USB uh, it's it's in case your computer ever crashes you can just put the CD in your computer or plug in the USB and boot to that uh, to that CD and uh, using using the uh, GUI in in that uh, CD or USB you will be able to uh, recover your recover the images that you created uh, and recover your computer the back to the way it was uh, it's it's very important so uh, this is this is pretty much what you use when you're actually backing up your image um, so for now I'm just gonna hit no if uh, just to show you guys anyways if you ever want to make the rescue media the icon is right here create Guru Mora rescue media you can click that and get started uh, but for now I'm just gonna hit cancel um, and then what you want to do is it shows you all the different disks that you have so right now I have this 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 and this I have four different uh, hard drives on my computer and uh, Macrium Reflect is smart because it sh this is this is my uh, this is my entire disk right here but it notices that that disk itself uh, on the PC it has two different partitions so this one and this one this is just reserved it's smaller but um, for instance like this I have I have it divided into two main ones data and a Acer like the F drive and M drive but all that is within one hard drive um, so uh, what you want to just just select the hard drive that you want like this is a hard drive this is a hard drive select the one you want under it you'll see these two options clone disk and image disk the disk I want is this one and uh, after that you can just hit image disk we're gonna make an image a clone is it'll it'll uh, you know make make a bit by bit copy of that that disk for for you to install into another one like cloning but image is it's it's for you to just save and keep it and when you need it you can recover it again um, onto onto whatever hard drive you want so I'm gonna hit image you can check off which whichever drives you want uh, see like this or this I'm gonna check off all of them just to be safe so that's that's everything within this the Corsair Force GT drive I have um, and it tells you that okay the total selected right now is 58 gigabytes uh, yeah that's fine that's what I want I wanna image my entire drive after that you can select where you want your backup to go do you wanna if you want you can burn it onto your onto a DVD or you know CD or DVD um, but uh, for me I'm gonna select a folder I'm gonna save it at a folder and where I'm gonna save that is uh, I actually have a you know you can select it and save it save the image wherever you want it to be saved I have a dedicated backup drive just in case you know for me to keep all my files safe I have a dedicated backup drive so uh, So I have my Macrim backups folder here, I make a new folder, and I call this my Corsair SSD backup. Right. And uh, you select the folder, hit OK, and uh, after that, just hit Next. It's going to ask you, this is the summary of every, all the details you want. Um, and uh, this is all this is all fine for me and uh, after that you just you can go to advanced options here and then you can go into like detailed uh, image settings for you with like the different things you want uh, 
the compression level if you want it to be compressed really high and save space then you can do that uh, but for me I'm just gonna leave everything as default and uh, hit finish once you hit finish uh, it's gonna ask you uh, do you want to run this back up now and it's gonna ask you you can save this it'll save it uh, it'll create an X XML file and basically what that XML file is is you can just double click it anytime and then it'll run this back up again uh, why you would want to do that is let's say I back up my drive now then a w maybe a month from now you know I, a lot of changes have happened and I can just run that file XML file again and it'll back up you know back up uh, again and create create like a updated backup uh, so that's that's just you know for future purposes but I'm gonna I'm gonna make an XML doc I'm gonna save it anyways uh, I'll go back to that same folder Drive, Macrium backups, Corsair SSD backup. Okay, and let me just call this Corsair SSD backup. Okay, and after that, just hit OK, and you'll notice that uh, the backup is starting. It's gonna start. Um, since I am recording at the same time right now, I'm I'm just gonna pause this and. Uh, I'll show you guys what actually happens. Uh, I'll be control. I'll continue this after. But uh, just an example, as an example, I've created a few other backups before in the past, so I'll show you guys where those go, uh, what they look like. So, okay, old history backup. So what it does is it creates this image. It's a Macrium Reflect image you can recover this image anytime you want using the uh, recover, so recover CD that he was talking about here before um, but uh, other than that it, it's Macrium Reflect is really cool in that it, it allows you to mount this as an image uh, as a drive so it, I double click on it it gives you this user access control hit yes and uh, it's asking me what partitions I want to load and um, for me, let's say I want to load. Yeah, I'll, I'll I'll pretty much I'll load these two, and I'll hit OK. And it as assigns a letter. And now, if you just go to my computer, you can see that it made two new drives on my computer. It didn't make new two drives. It's it's that it's using this image, it's using this image, and uh, it's making logic two logical drives on your computer. So that way you can go ahead and browse your browse that hard drive you imaged, uh, you know, and find whatever files you wanted and uh, you know do whatever you need. So that's 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 the really cool thing about Macrium Reflect. Um, you can back up. You can image your drive and after imaging your drive you can just easily browse through uh, the drives uh, the backups you have and uh, recover any files you need and stuff like that so um, this was just I, I know it's kinda long um, but this is this is a very good software that I rec recommend to you guys it's it's a really good way to keep keep track of your drives and have backups um, the problem I'll, I'll, I'll mention right now the problem or not the problem but the drawback of the free edition is that it only it makes full images of your drives um, so that's good in the sense that you can make a backup of all your hard drives on your computer and you'll have those backups you'll always have those backups just in case anything goes wrong um, but the thing is if you want to run that backup a week from now you have to make a full full image uh, full backup again um, but that's kind of a drawback what the full the paid Macrium Reflect allows you to do is you can make incremental backups what incremental backups is is it it, it detects that oh okay you made a full image full backup here uh, now let me just make a backup of any any new files or any changes that happened um, from the point that you made this full backup so that way you don't have to like this this image right here is 
168 gigabytes that way you don't have to make a second image of 168 gigabytes it'll make just an incremental backup of any files that got changed so it'll be much smaller so uh, uh, in that sense you can you can make you can schedule you know weekly backups and it will it won't take much space it'll only make a backup of those uh, smaller files that got changed from the time you made your full backup that's incremental backup but uh, for the purpose of backing up your drives the free edition should be fine for you guys and I just wanted to show you guys how you make that backup um, so this that was pretty much the process I hope you guys enjoyed this video uh, and um, I hope it helped you guys out please let me know if you have any questions uh, I'll be happy to try and help you guys out um, I'm also still learning the process um, I downloaded the I, 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 I got the full edition recently but I haven't installed it yet I'm gonna install it and I'll show you guys um, I'll show you guys maybe I'll make a video showing you guys how incremental backups work as well so thank you guys for watching uh, please don't forget to comment rate and subscribe uh, take care guys